Hello everyone, my name is Brian Spencer from East River Pilates and this is The Right Way with Well and Good. Today we're going to be taking a look at Dead Bug, an amazing exercise for strengthening those abdominals and working on our upper and lower body coordination. The three most common mistakes that I tend to see are one, inconsistent or a little unclear breath work. Two, tabletop position, not really in tabletop position. And three, too much range of motion. Plant those feet as you lie down. Reach the arms up, float those legs in a tabletop. Nice. For anyone who needs a little refresher on what dead bug is, it's simply reaching the left arm and right leg away from center, pulling back in and doing it in the opposite direction. Nice. Now let's take a look. What we tend to do is kind of like fudge the breath work and put unnecessary um, activation into the quads and hip flexors, that mover muscle. We wanna keep it in the diaphragm and the transverse, our two of our deep core muscles. So really find that inhale, exhale before you return. Inhale now, exhale before you return. You will love it. You can even exhale out, inhale before you come back, exhale out, inhale before you come back. Either way is totally fine. Number two, tabletop. This is easy to fix, but the knees need to be right over the hips. We tend to bring the knees too far in, automatically gripping those hip flexors and rounding that low back. The other thing that we tend to do is keep the knees too far away, which is gonna put a lot of work on those quads and bring that low back into too much extension. We don't want that, that's not gonna feel good. Keep those knees directly over those hips from the most efficient position. Last but not least, range of motion. We tend to really want to go here and extend the rib cage up and bring the whole spine into extension. You will immediately feel that in your low back. We want to prioritize form over range of motion. So if this is it today, pay attention to when your limit is. Find how the ribs are back on the back of the mat. Pubic bone and tailbone are still nice and stacked. It's always better to build range of motion once you've gotten those correct muscles strengthened enough to stabilize this exercise rather than kind of going and dumping too much work into low back hips or quads. Beautiful. We're all set with that today. Come on out of that. This has been The Right Way with Well and Good. Again, my name is Brian Spencer from East River Pilates. That was Dead Bug. And for more videos like this, click subscribe. Hope to see you soon. Have a great rest of your day.